Well, you guys saw it. You're all soccer guys. Uh, he was very good. Uh, we just need to fine tune to make sure that uh, Clinton, he uh, figure out the right spacing. Uh, because I uh, thought a, a couple of times we could we could have done a better job in keeping Clint a little higher, which would be my preference. Uh, get Clint closer to goal because we're gonna you know need to rely on Clint to score some goals. So other than that little glitch, uh, you saw his ability to cover ground at a high level, connect passes, uh, run the team. You know there was a, there was a lot of positives out of that. Clint leads the front line. Nicholas leads through the middle. We've got experienced guys at the back. Uh, I was, I was, I was encouraged. I have zero pressure uh, as far as uh, what Joe and Adrian and those guys make a decision at the end of the year. That's that's not pressure. The pressure I put on myself is just to make sure I do a good job. Those guys deserve. Those guys deserve that I do a good job. That team in that locker room deserves that we as a staff, that I as a coach, make sure that I do a good enough job to make sure that they're ready to go every game day. That's the pressure I feel. Part of the reason for that formation and, and going forward, we'll certainly revisit that and look at the tape and watch. Uh, Gerard Keane, Dos Santos are three very dangerous players uh, for them. So <clears throat> they all like to play in that little soft area. So I wanted to put someone next to Ozzy to help and that was Christian and that kind of was the starting point for for the lineup choice if I wanted to put two guys there you know how Nico fit into that how Jordan fit into that that's that's kind of my starting point uh, again I'll I'll look at the tape we'll look at the film talk to those guys and see how comfortable they were and then we'll go from there so before I go out to the game I say my piece and then I sanitize the locker room for lack of a better it's that's a that's a stupid word uh, I cleared the locker room out so the players have a couple minutes before they go out on the field to talk amongst themselves and then what I want is the same thing to happen afterwards I want to I want to say what I need to say and then they can talk because it's their team they're the ones that have to have ownership in the team so that's just an opportunity it, 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 it's not something that it's a players only meeting because things are going poorly it's just something that we're going to continue to do so that we can develop the mentality that it's their team